Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today we're going to do some work with circles, um, this time focusing on circumference and area and, and lengths of arcs around circles and things like that. Um, before we get started, you'll notice that I've highlighted here to state answers in terms of pi unless otherwise stated. So most of the answers to problems you're going to be doing should have should have pi in them. So just something to uh, to keep in mind. So let's start with a little bit of review. I'm going to do this quickly because you should know this already. Um, the circumference of a circle can be found, circumference, that's the distance around the circle or the perimeter of the circle. That's two different ways. That's 2 pi r or pi times the diameter. Of course, a diameter is 2 times the radius. That's why those two equations are the same. In the area of a circle, you should know the formula for area is pi r squared. Uh, so you should know that as well. But just a quick refresher, you're going to need those for something we're going to be doing today. So I just want to walk through a couple of quick examples how you might apply those formulas. So here I'm given a, a, a circle with a circumference of 12 pi, and I want to find the radius. So I'm not finding the circumference, I'm finding the radius. Basic strategy here is write down the formula, plug in what you know, solve for what you don't. So if the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius, plug in what you know. Well, the circumference is 12 pi. So I'm going to replace circumference with 12 pi. So 12 pi is 2 pi r. And now we solve the equation for r, solve for the radius. So I can divide both sides of that equation by pi. Okay, I know this is a little messy there, but I'll move in a second. So those pi's cancel out, and those pi's cancel out. And so what we have is 12 is equal to 2 times the radius, divide by 2, and we get that the radius is 6. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's uh, do the next one. Sorry. Uh, the next one says, find the radius of a circle with circumference 40 pi over 3. So same idea, circumference 40 pi over 3 should be equal to 2 pi r. Okay, now we're going to solve that again for r. Uh, you might want to, there's a number of ways you could do this, but you might want to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of the fraction part of it. So you can do that, and then we get 40 pi is equal to, over here if we simplify, we get 6 pi r. And then again, you can divide pi, both sides by pi. That's going to be a common theme that's going to happen a lot. Divide by pi. And then I can also divide by 6. If you want to do that in one step, divide both sides by 6 pi, that's fine. But the pi's cancel out. Now the 6's cancel out, and your radius is 46, which can reduce to 20 thirds. So a couple of examples of how you can use the formula for circumference to calculate a radius. One more example now, this time with area. Okay, area, we know the formula is pi r squared. So to find the radius, plug in what you know, which is the area, and solve for what you don't. And again, you see that common theme where we, we can cancel out the pi's by dividing both sides by pi, and we're left with r squared equals 225. We're going to take the square root of both sides to find r, and the square root of 225 is 15, so our radius is 15 inches. And there you go. Okay, now let's get into some new material, arc lengths and areas of sectors. Again, just reminding you here that we are writing our answers in terms of pi. Uh, and... All right, so let's see. We've got a sector. This is a new term you may not be familiar with. A sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii and an arc of a circle. So what does that, what does that look like? Well, that's just... It's like a piece of pie or a piece of pizza. Okay, it's just that space there, so that would be called a sector of a circle. Okay, so any two radii, so it could be really big like that. You could have a sector that's, that's actually the rest of the circle, all of this stuff if you wanted. Uh, that could be a sector. Um, Okay, so, so those, are, those are examples of sectors. 
So I just shaded sector AOB. Um, now how does this area, the area of that shaded region, and I'll shade it again, this area in here, how does the area of that shaded region compare with the area of the entire circle? Well, that's what we're really interested in here. Well, for this particular example, let's just say that, um, let's just say this will make pick a nice friendly number. Let's say this was a 90 degree angle. So if that's a 90 degree angle, then would you agree that this sector is one fourth of the circle, right? If we sort of split it up into four equal parts, those would all be 90. So that sector would be one fourth of the circle, or 90, 360ths of the circle. So if the area of the circle, you remember the area of the circle is pi r squared, right? If the area of the circle is pi r squared, then the area of that sector is just going to be one-fourth of that, or 90 360ths of that, right? Because 90 360ths is one-fourth. And so the way you can find the area of a sector is da 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 it's just the fraction of the circle times the area formula. So this looks like kind of a crazy formula here, uh, but it's really not that bad. Pi r squared here, that's just area equals pi r squared. And then this part is just the fraction, right? It's what part out of 360. So in our example that I made up here, the angle here was 90. The angle was 90, so 90 out of 360, which is just 1 fourth. So it was one-fourth of the whole area. Uh, but if that angle had been 37, it'd be 37 360ths of the circle. Um, now you'll be given this formula, so you won't have to memorize it, but that's what you can use to find the area of a sector. Okay, next we're going to talk about arc length. Now this sometimes gets confusing because arc length is different than arc measure, right? So the arc length we're talking about the actual distance from, in this case, A to B. It's actually how far it is, right? So if this were, let's say, a 90 degree angle, again, just keeping with a nice friendly number, if that's a 90 degree angle, the measure, the measure of arc AB would be 90 degrees. And that's true no matter how big or small the circle is. But if we're talking about the actual length of AB, the distance from A to B, if the circle is this size, that is going to be different than if the circle is, say, oops, having trouble here, is say like this size, right? If the circle is small like that, then that arc is still 90 degrees, but the actual distance is much, much smaller. So there's a difference between arc length and arc measure. Um, and it's going to be really important that you pay attention to the difference between them and watch that, that vocab, okay? Okay, so continuing on here, so again, the arc length, the length of arc AB is this actual distance here from A to B, uh, how far that is, okay? And so, moving on, so the question is, how does the length of that arc compare to the length of all the way around the circle? Right, so how does this length from A to B compare with going all the way around? Well, just like in the previous example, and again, I'm just going to pick a nice friendly number. Right, if this is a 90 degree angle, then that's one fourth of the way around, or 90 three hundred and of the way around the circle. Right, 90 three hundred again is one fourth. So if you found the circumference, the distance all the way around the circle, this arc, this distance from A to B, would be one-fourth of that distance. Okay, so you might be guessing where we're going with this. So if circumference is 2 pi r, then to find the length of, a, of an arc, it's just that same 2 pi r, it's that same 2 pi r, multiplied by the fraction, so what it is out of 360. So whether it's, if this is 90 degrees, if this angle here is 90 degrees, then it's 90 out of 360. Um, if I made it something like this, where I was talking about this arc, so this distance here, so if I was talking about like all of this, and let's say that angle was 200 degrees, if this angle here was 200 degrees, then it'd be 200 out of 360, uh, and so on. So it's just the fraction of the circumference. So it's old-fashioned circumference 
multiplied by whatever fraction of the circle we're, we're talking about. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples. Our first example is just asking to find the length of arc RS, so the length of this arc. So the length of an arc, the length of that arc is just the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r, multiplied by the fraction, the angle out of 360. So let's look at this example. 2, whoops, 2 pi, let's try that again. So 2 pi times the radius, which is 10, multiplied by 45 360ths. Okay. Now, it might be helpful to reduce that fraction before you proceed, although uh, you could reduce it at the end as well, but 45 360 eighths, 45 actually goes into 368 times, so that's just 1 eighth. And now we just multiply across the top, so that's 2 times 10 is 20, so that's 20 pi over 8. See if we can reduce that any further, and of course we can, because what goes into both 20 and 8? Well, 4 goes into 20 five times, 4 goes into 8 twice, so we have 5 pi over 2. And that's the length of RS. You could also write that as 5 halves pi, that would be acceptable, or you could also write 2.5 pi if you prefer. Any of those would be considered acceptable. I probably prefer this first method, but any of them is fine. And finally, one last example. Uh, I want to find the arc length of AB as well as the area of that shaded sector, the sector uh, that, that falls in there that, that's shaded there, the one that you can see. <laughs> that's what it means. Okay, so notice here um, I was given that the, the arc that I'm given is 270, which is this major arc around the outside. But of course, you know if that's 270, you can figure out, you can subtract from 360 to find out that arc AB, that the measure of that arc is 90 degrees, and the measure of that angle is 90 degrees, that central angle. Uh, so that's the angle that we're going to be interested in as opposed to the 270. Okay, so for arc length, arc length is just going to be 2 pi times the radius multiplied by the fraction, which is 90 360 ths. Again, with a friendly number like 90, I would recommend reducing. 90 out of 360, 90 goes into 90 once. 90 goes into 364 times. And so we have 2 times 4 is 8, so that's 8 pi over 4. Simplify that, we get 2 pi for our arc length. Sector, the area of that sector, is pi r squared times that same fraction. So pi times the radius squared multiplied by that fraction. Sorry, that's a little hard to read. Let me make that a little bit neater. One fourth. And so four squared, sorry, that's getting a little bit messy. Um, it's a little bit messy, but we'll, we'll, we'll work with it. Okay, so over here, that four squared order of operations, four squared is 16, so that's 16 pi times one-fourth. If it helps you to put that over one, you can do that. And then uh, you can multiply and then simplify it, or if you remember from multiplying fractions, you're allowed to cross-cancel, as they sometimes call it, or cancel out common factors. Four goes into four once, four goes into 16 four times, and so the area of that sector is simply four pi. And that's it. Good luck.